All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you for the feedback on last night's video. So I went ahead and skipped today's um, work video and I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial in the garage here. I'm gonna show you guys how to mount a spreader bar light box. I thought I had the nail on light boxes, which is basically um, a circular uh, box like this for lights, but it has nails on the side of it um, to nail it to a stud. Um, this is more complex version, and I was trying to start out with the nail-on box, but I don't have that, but I wanted to go ahead and start with this light box, so I'll probably have to go buy to some Home Depot. But anyways, I want to show you guys how to mount this and the specifics on how to do this. Um, so just for starters, you're going to want to realize that once you go to mount this spreader bar, um, there is a difference right here. So if you want to mount these bars flush with the stud, it's gonna be about an inch and three eighths out. So if you're trying to make this flush with the sheetrock, if it's at half an inch or five eighths, you're gonna to want to make sure that you set this back, set this spreader bar back um, about half an inch or five eighths, whatever that math is. Um, so you can an easy way to do that is just to hold up your tape measure and then set it back to half an inch and then you can um, mark that with a sharpie and then you can measure that say it's one inch and then mark an inch on both sides and then you have your measurement to get you to a half an inch so um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're going to be in the wall and flush with the wall the sheetrock um, and then second of all you want to make sure you're at the right height so I'm just going to pick a random height right here have a table out here but um, I'm just gonna pick this height right here and that is going to be off of the ground it's gonna be 55 and about three quarters so I'm gonna transfer that mark over to the other side 55 and three quarters and then an easy way to do that is just to drag the tape measure to make a nice straight line and let's just say that the sheetrock is, um, we're not worried about sheetrock right now. I'm just going to mount this to the stud. So I do have some screws here and the screws are the best way to mount these. Um, so you're just going to take your screw gun and you're going to set, um, there is a little kind of the center mark right here, this little arrow. Um, if this is the version that you are using. And then there's the screw holes on each side of that. You can also um, hit this with a hammer to temporarily tack it in place if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it and screw it. Um, so I'm just gonna mount this flush here and I'm gonna um, eyeball this right on the line. And then you're gonna wanna push the box over so you can get your screw gun in here. And then you're just going to screw it in this will work. So there's one of them. And then it can kind of um, adjust on you. So you want to make sure it is straight still because it does wobble a little bit. Um, so you do want to make sure that this is straight because if it's not, it's going to be at an angle and then it's going to be really hard to mount your light. So just make sure whether you're doing it a flush mount, which is probably not going to happen. Um, flush mount or if you're moving it back to a certain depth make sure that it is straight um, and you can kind of check that once you screw it in place I'll show you um, so just make sure that's straight and flush and it's pretty much easy just to do one side and then the other side so that side is good and then you're just gonna mount this side level it up on the line to the center of the bracket again and then just screw it into place and then the last screw right here make sure it's straight again push the box over all right so there's that nice and solid not going anywhere and then lastly, um, if you are mounting this in a certain location, so normally for a light box, you would 
if you're mounting something on a stud, you would just nail it on. But if you need the box right in the center for like a vanity or something like that, then you would bring your box over to the desired spot. And then there's two screws inside the box. And then you're just gonna tighten them down to where you want it at. Um, so say if you're just measuring off of the wall, uh, one foot, and then you put it on, one, make a mark at one foot or use your tape measure on one foot and then just screw it down on both of those screws. Some boxes will have one screw, this one has two. So some of these are slightly different than the others. And that's exactly how you mount a light box, spreader bar light box. Um, and I'm trying to get the other kind, the nail on box to show you that example as well. But hopefully this helped you out. Um, hopefully you learned something new. If not, I'm sorry, but I tried. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know um, if you guys just want me to jump into the commercial stuff that I have in my garage. I have commercial boxes and stuff like that. If you just want me to jump into commercial stuff, but I'm trying to, trying to just kind of keep it residential for now with the plastic boxes and stuff like that and the Romex. Um, but if not, I can hop right into the um, commercial stuff if you don't care. Um, but I'm trying to keep this in order. So let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it and help out the channel. And um, check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.